Stop, stop, stop it. Stop it. Stop now. What's the meaning of this? Uh, Alex, we spoke about this. But we can't do this until we are married. Give me some accolades. We've been dating for six months and we've not had sex. Well, we will have sex as much as you want when we do the right thing. The right thing? You know what? I'm sick and tired of your holier than thou attitude. It's not as if you're a virgin. You have a child for the love of God, and his father is obviously not the Holy Ghost. This is my body, my prerogative, period. So no show. No show. You are so much in the mood. That's the bathroom there. Go have a cold bath. It will help your body calm down. It looks like magic. Really? last night. It's my turn now to return the favor. <laughs> Did you ever love me? Really? What is love without sex? What is love without affection? Expressing your affection. Six months, Oma. Six months. And you keep saying, wait till we get married. If you were a virgin, I would understand. It would be worth the wait because eventually I'll break the gate. But you have a child who will be 12 in a couple of months. How much more of a hypocrite can you be? You know why I chose to be celibate? I told you from the beginning of our relationship and you assured me that you understood why I had to make this decision. That was six months ago, Mama. Six months ago, please! I'm a grown man with sexual needs. Look, look. I refuse to be your correctional facility. I refuse to be the pen you used to rewrite whatever mistake you made in the past. Half of this rubbish. Oh God, Alex, are you traveling? I'm not traveling. I'm leaving. And I am never coming back. Why? Maybe you should ask your mom. At least she should be kind enough to tell you the truth. Rubbish. Is it even because of me? Oh, no, baby. No, no, it's... It's leaving because he chose to leave. It's not because of you. It's not because of you. Hey. Yeah. I'll see you later. I don't understand. I thought we had a discussion last night. There are so many discussions. In fact, there is a discussion. You have to be specific. Fine. Since you want to play dumb, I'll help you. That should be money I asked for. That should be. I thought I made it clear. I don't have 20,000 to give you for a show. Please, please. I need to be honest. You're joking, right? I am not joking, Francesca. I do not have that kind of money to give to you, Fashobi. <laughs> Andrew, see, you're giving me that money today and you're going nowhere. Ah. Uh, Francesca, I need to be on my way. I have a client to go and drop at the airport. <laughs> I don't care. See. I don't care if you're dropping your client at the seaport. You are not going nowhere without me having that 20,000 naira. Francesca, please let's not do this. I do not have money to give you. <sighs> not right now. You're lying. You are lying, Andrew. I checked your account balance last night. You have 
Francesca! Mm. And as a man, you want me to be without savings? I don't care. <clears throat> I don't care whatsoever you're saving for. I want the 30,000. Hello, sir. Just hold on, sir. I'm on my way. <gasps> Thank you, sir. Please, I need to go. See, I would advise you call him back and tell him to cancel and book another ride. Because I don't see you leaving this place anytime soon. Touched your food and it's getting cold. I am not all day. Well, you said you were when you came to the salon earlier. You did not care then. Well, that's because you refused to tell me why you were looking all roughed up. I'm sorry. I was a bit harsh on you earlier. A little bit harsh, no? Fine. I was harsh. But that's because you would not talk to me. I am sure you know why. So you had a fight in school? Again? But I didn't start the fight. Chiki, I have told you to always walk away anytime these kids start calling your names. Violence will not solve anything. They tease me by calling me names like the boy with multiple daddy. Did any business start this? Well, I don't mean stupid, but I hope he has learned his lesson. What did you do? I put him in his right place. Chiki, how many times have I warned you not to get physical when you get angry? What am I supposed to do? Fight with your grades. Fight with your academic scores. You cannot go about throwing punches at every Tom Dick and Ender Busy that gets on your last nerve. Chiki, please. You need to stop fighting in school. Fighting will not solve anything. Just walk away anytime they start causing trouble. Okay? I'm sorry I was harsh. So why don't you keep your homework and come eat? We'll do this later, okay? Okay, let's go. I'm just waiting for this section to end so I can take him out of that school and put him in a new school. And how long will you keep doing that? This is his second school in three years. What will you have me do? You know, he might even be fighting as we're speaking. And what is the school doing about it? What can they do? The more he reports to his teacher, the more they bully him. And guess who the leader of this park is? And do we see? Regina's son. The same Regina? The same Regina that you and I know. <laughs> And I'm sure she's the one feeding mm. her son so many informations about other parents' children. That's why he comes to school bullying them. Regina, that retired that she would hear from me the next time I see her. Please, babe, stop even waste your energy on her. She's not worth it. Ah, oh my goodness. What is it? 
I forgot. I have an appointment and I'm running late already. My car is even faulty, you know. Oh, you might have to book a ride. Now. It's not even an option. I'm booking the ride already. Okay. Uh, so it's not a problem. I give you my word. <laughs> okay, sir. Thank you. Bye. Um, mister, uh, where is this place? I thought you was going to Lake, so what is this? Um, I, I took this road to avoid the traffic on the major express. Uh, um, excuse me, but you, you can either take me back to the major road or you stop this car this minute. You asked me to get you to your destination real fast, that's exactly what I'm doing. But I don't know this place. Trust me, mate, it's safe, it's fine, you have nothing to worry about. Okay, um... I just unlocked the doors. You can wind your windows down if that will make you feel safe. Well, I'll have to try and believe you. Um, we're here. Oh, that's true. You really do know your way around. I try. Um, well, just for next time. I think it's best you let your clients know your route before you take it. Thank you, ma'am. I will note that. My apologies. It's fine. What's the cost? Um, that would be 3700 Okay, I'll be making the transfer. Your account details. That would be access back. Zero, zero, zero. Mm -hmm. Seven, four. Seven, four. One thousand. Two thousand. Three thousand. Four thousand. Five thousand. Six thousand. Six thousand naira. Yes, six thousand naira. So? What am I supposed to do? No, it's for a bar. You're telling me that 6,000 won't be enough to make dinner? For two adults. Two adults, Andrew. Yes, two adults. Oh, no, no. Hear me. Um, how much am I supposed to give to you? Okay. Maybe because I know you are always broke. Hmm? I can take 20,000. <laughs> 20,000 just for dinner. Okay. See, that's me managing it, though. Andrew, and you are not always like this. No, and I'm glad you know that, that I wasn't always like this. I don't have a job for now, per se, so you would have to manage. Fine. I have to manage this for myself tonight. Then. Mm, great, thank you. <laughs> Did you hear me? I said, for myself, not the both of us. I don't understand. See. I know you can always search yourself out, but this is just for me. It is past seven and you're still sleeping. Oh my goodness. I'm sorry, babe. I slept late. Why do you have a left shirt on? I, I, I don't remember wearing it. You did not just wear yourself on you. You're so loving. 
Chike, can we not talk about Alex? Let me go make breakfast for you so you can go to school. Ah, uh, Mr. Andrew. What? I'm so sorry for keeping you waiting. Uh, it's fine. It's okay. Oh. Thank you. A <sighs> uh, lovely place you have here. Thank you. You're welcome. So let's get to why you're here. Yeah. I'll be needing your services for the next one month. Okay, um, what happened to your car? It's going through some upgrade and it will be ready to your next month. Okay, great. Um, so how exactly would you be needing me? Um, all through the day or you call me when you need me? I'll call you when I need you and that's like almost every day. So all through <laughs> the day then. <laughs> really? <laughs> yes. Uh, okay, that's fine by me. How much are you offering? I can pay per day. Oh, yeah. Revenge was badly hurt, so I must avenge. But all my plans came crashing down. I had to make a turn around. It all good day, man. Oh, good day. Ah, I wasn't expecting your call today. I know, and I sincerely apologize. I have an impromptu meeting at Global World for 12 and another at Runix Property for 3 p.m. So I'll just quickly round up with this and we'll leave in about, let's say, 10 minutes. Okay, that's all right, madam. Okay, sure. Oh, you can have a seat. Okay. Thank you. Hello, Omar. Hey. It's been a while. Alex, how are you doing? Better than I was the last time you saw me. Some of us tend to keep moving higher and higher, while others tend to be stuck on the same spot. Nothing seems to change for her. For them, I mean. <laughs> oh, you, you look good. Ah, come on, that's an understatement. I don't look good. I look good, good. <laughs> and I wish I could say the same about you. But I understand. It sucks to be all alone without a man to call your own. Pardon my manners. Meet Lola. She's the woman in my life now. Her father is a Tumba Deropo, the CEO of Crown Holders. She's all I ever want in a woman. Uh, hey, babe. Um, sorry it took so long. I had to, you know, sort out something. I, I see you have company. 
yeah, this is Alex, my ex, and his girlfriend, Lola. That name is really strange. How come you never mentioned? Um, when did you guys um, call it off? Well, two weeks ago. Two weeks ago? Ah, it's how sweet you moved on. It tells everything about the relationship and its insignificance. I beg your pardon? Um, nice to meet you, Lola. Oh, Lola. Lola. Is that supposed to be Lola or Lola? He called her Lola. Lola. Oh, I see. Oh, we should be on our way. We've got important things to do. Shall we? Can you get your hands off me? What's the meaning of that? What do you mean? I literally just saved you from an embarrassing situation. Saved me? What is this to you, Nollywood? Did I ask for your help? You really shouldn't be talking like this. Like, you should be thanking me, not why, why should I thank you? You, you wrapped your arms around me and you pecked me. What, what was that? Sorry, can we go now? Jessica, did you miss the part where I said this guy put his arms around my waist and pecked me? You know, thinking about it right now, I should have, should have given him a dirty slap. Oh. And you will mess everything up. And both of you will look stupid. And Alex, he will have a good laugh. And that young man was right. You were supposed to thank him and scolding him was the wrong thing to do. Mm -hmm. So rich coming from you. Because you that I know would have slapped him immediately. No, I won't. You see, it is either you did not understand what Alex was trying to do to you, or you were so blinded by the love you have for that guy that you just choose to ignore it. Come on. It's Alex we are talking about here. Oh, sorry. I thought we were talking about Ninoluo. You should just forget about this guy and move on. Yeah, he's not worth it. This guy. Wow, this is awesome. Um, hey, um, welcome. Mm -hmm. Just have a seat, I will be with you shortly. Yeah. Jessica, what is wrong with you? And when has it become a crime for a lady to admire? Fine man. Uh, except that the fine man is the driver. Is that your driver? Not my driver per se. Just a driver. It's a one month contract. I hired him to take me around while I have my car fixed. Mm. And who will have her car fixed when she has friends trying to take her anywhere she wants to go? I mean, anywhere. You are terrible. Hmm. Even it's for him, I accept. <sighs> yeah. You see, it is sad I did not see him the first time he came here. You were such in a hurry. Mm. What would you have done if you had seen him? <gasps> By now, he would have been driving me somewhere else. Mm. Uh, luckily for you, he has less than two weeks to work for me. So you can have him all to yourself after that. Mm -hmm. Finally, I have a reason to hire myself a child. Thank you, Oma. You're such a friend indeed. Mm. Well, I am happy to help a friend in need. That guy is actually yourself. What is this again, Chike? What is this again, Chike? You got a D in mathematics? Tell me, how can you become an engineer with this grade? I was trying my best, Mom. This cannot be your best. You need to do more. 
How can you get into the university with with a dean, Mats? I am sorry, Mom. It's not about you being sorry. It's about you stepping up. I mean, you're good in other subjects. Why is it difficult when it comes to maths? Can I get a private math tutor? Will he help? Yes, you'll get me one. Moment. Sure, I will. I will get you one. Listen, I want what's best for you. Okay? I'm sorry if I raised my voice on you. I thought you went out. No, really. I just went to get petrol. Okay. So I overheard your mother talking about your maths grade. That subject is too difficult. <laughs> Not really. You just have to, you know, work a little harder. I know for sure because um, I'm good with maths. Back in uni, I studied economics and statistics, so I should be able to help you. Really? Yeah, I'll help you. Really? Yes, really. But it will be for two weeks. Why two weeks? Mm, let's just say in two weeks, your mother will have found you a private teacher. Okay? Okay. All right. So you're good to work hard to learn, right? Big man. <laughs> Jessica to, to come stay with you. Oh, you're here. I want you to stay with me tonight. Um, what? Stop it. Stop it, please. <laughs> you don't find me attractive or what? Stop. You think I'm too good for you, right? <laughs>
Sorry, sorry. I would have knocked. I, I thought you were asleep. You have not answered my question. What are you doing here? Calm down. Okay. So, um, last night you came in really, really drunk and there was no way I was going to let you be all by yourself, or, you know, unassisted. So, I, I, I decided to stay back and help. Oh my God. What happened last night? Because I do not have any clothes on. Did you strip me naked? You threw up on every bit of fabric you had on. Ah! Oh! What did you do to me? I can... Look, I brought you upstairs, cleaned you up, uh. made you in your bed, and no, I did not share your bed with you. I slept on the couch downstairs, so fine, nothing happened between us, nothing, okay? So you saw me naked? did what I thought was best for you to help you. You you, you had vomit all over your body on, in the house. I had to clean the house and look, um, I also made you pepper soup. I didn't ask you to make anything. To help you with the hangover. Yeah. Where are you going to? I am going home since what I have done cannot be appreciated. Mind you, my contract with you ended last night, so goodbye. Babe, I was shocked by all he did. And you messed things up again, as usual. That guy stripped me naked and bathed me like I was some sort of newborn baby. <laughs> he saw you in your complete bed this week. Jessica, this isn't funny. Seriously, it's not. But would you have preferred that he left you in your own vomit and went home? Mwe. I go on a bastard. My dear, you overdid it. So, have you tried to reach out to him since he left? Yeah, I did, but he's not taking my calls. Right? And you know, this is the second time he's taken his neck out for me. And I made him feel stupid for doing so. I think he likes you. Ah, Mada, you said it again. I fear you like him too. But you are either scared or ashamed to admit it. Oh yeah, come and be going. Let me carry my phone call you now to give you gist. I know you now. Just the magazine. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow. Sure, darling. Bye. Why is he acting so childish? Start with this, and as you can see, we have um, two x plus one equals three x. What is the first thing we need to do? You will bring the like them together. That means you move the two x across the equal sign. That makes it minus two x. Great! High five! <laughs> Spot on! Alright, go ahead and print that down. That's good. Oh, Andrew. Hey. I didn't know you were here. Um, right. I. I was bored at home and I decided to come in and see you. Uh, Chike is now your buddy? Yes, he is. He is. The big man is my buddy. Uncle <laughs> Andrew is helping me with my business. I can see that. I heard one X, two X. I just knew that there was some sort of maths work over here. Yeah. Uh, please, I'll just let you. Alright. Yeah. Baby, learn well, okay? Good job. Sit to this first and please tell Mr. Jimo that we need four new big heads. Okay. 
can go. Chiki, chiki, chiki. How many times will I tell you not to run in the salon so you don't hit something or hurt yourself? I mean, look at this. You got a B plus in maths? Yes, I did. <laughs> oh, this is my boy. I'm so proud of you, baby. You've done well. Mommy, where is Uncle Andrew? Uh, he stepped out from minutes ago. Do you know he is better than all my math tutors? Really? Yes. He makes math seem very easy when he is teaching me. Wow. So when you see him, you have to tell him thank you. Yes, ma'am. I like him. He is very calm and always ready to teach me my assignments. Mm, that's good. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. What do you want, Steve? You want ice cream, pizza? <sighs> so your master tutor will be resuming work tomorrow. Why do I need a master tutor? I thought you told me you needed one. We had that conversation, remember? Yes, mom. You did. I already had the math tutor. Andrew? Yes, mom. Uncle Andrew. <sighs> the thing is, Andrew is not a math tutor. And I don't think you'll be seeing him again anytime soon. Why? Can you just eat your food and stop with the questions? I want to know why I won't be seeing Uncle Andrew again. His contract with me is over. There will be no need for him to come to this house again. Do you understand now? No, no, I don't. Well, that's the explanation I can give you. The best explanation I can give you. I just need you to know that a professional tutor will be coming here tomorrow. I don't need a professional man to do. I need a grand Chiki. Chiki, come back here and finish your food. Andrew, um, I'm really sorry about the way I spoke to you the other day. I was wrong and I sincerely apologize. Chiki misses you and he wouldn't stop asking about you. Um, please, can we meet up tomorrow, 4 p.m., the gold lounge? Please?
What do you think? See, Andrew, don't even play that I want to sleep now thing with me tonight. What is it? Oh, I really want to sleep. See, you know me. You know me. If you don't give me the attention I need, everybody is going to sleep tonight. What is it? See, this bag. It's the same pattern as the shoe you got me last week. No, it's not. It is. I want it. What? You heard me. <laughs> I got you shoes what what fifteen thousand just last week and now you want me to buy you back because you think it's the same pattern with the Oh wait, it's not that expensive, it's just thirteen thousand now. Well I'll get it for you, but now um, that will be next month, okay? That's far see, it has to be next week. You know we have a reunion party next week. Yeah? Unfortunately for you, I can't do that. Next week I have to service the car and the money I have with me is for servicing the car. That car brings food into this house. Why are you talking like I know nothing about cars? See, you can service that car a week after. It won't be that late, right? I'm not having this conversation with you again, please. What's going to me? Oh. to get you for like what now 30 minutes where have you been did you see my car key is that why you want to blow up my phone did Fine. you see my car key i kept it what do you mean you kept it i just lost the client and you will lose more if you don't give me the money for that bag that is what this is about a bag does it bother you that i just lost the client See, Andrew, this is simple. You give me the money for the bag, I give you back your car keys. I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Thank you. I'm I've been sorry. here for over an hour now. I'm sorry. The thing is, um, I, I had a client. I had to take the client to the mainland and then double back to the island. And the traffic was crazy. I apologize. Uh, it's fine. At least you're here. Yeah. I was beginning to think you stood me up. Oh, come on. <laughs> I wouldn't do that to you. How was Chicken? I don't know. I don't know if I should say he's fine or he's not. He's just been a shadow of himself since he left. But I was going to leave eventually. I wish you understood that. I mean, I wouldn't even blame him. You guys are pretty close. Well, he misses you. I miss him too. He's a <laughs> big man. Sadly, no one misses me. <laughs> Chike won't talk to me until I bring back his Uncle Andrew. And Uncle Andrew wouldn't be here if not for Chike. Great. Miss you. Stop patronizing me. No, for real, Omar. I really do miss you. Look, it's clear we feel something for each other. I know our status is not allowing us to come out with our feelings, but at some point, one of us is going to have to come out. Yes, that's what I'm doing. You think I feel the same way too? I know you do. I saw the look you gave me at the mall the other day. That was in anger. That was love. Uh, Andrew. With me, relationship is complicated. Alma, 
It's complicated with everybody. Both parties just have to choose to uncomplicate it. I have a son who means the whole world to me. You of all people should know that doesn't bother me. You can make this work. I'm tired of trying, Andrew. Every time I try, I end up getting hurt. And it's not just me alone. Chike gets hurt too. And who says this is going to end badly? Ooh. It's always nice at the beginning of the relationship. Um, I know exactly what you're thinking. But the truth is, if we don't try, we will never find out. So, what I'll just do is, um, I'll go on Saturdays and Sundays, and I'll be here from Monday to Friday. Ah, Saturdays and Sundays, will you accept? I sent a message to the manager, though he hasn't gotten back to me. Wow, well, that's going to be very difficult. You know? Media money is involved. I can't even... Hey, babe. Hey, hey. Uh, how did it go? Um... Well, you are looking at the new supervising manager of Macro Homes. Are you serious? Yes! Ah! <laughs> I've got the job, I've got the job. Ah! Oh, congratulations, babe. Thanks, thanks, all thanks to you. Uh, babe, it's your doing. I mean, you were more than qualified for the job. Yeah, but still, you had to put in the word and I am grateful. Because I love you so much. I love you too. Oh, <coughs> <laughs> uh, Jesse, pardon me. Mm. It's okay. I'm good. All right. <laughs> For a second, I actually thought I was invincible. <laughs> no, forgive my manners. I'm, I just, I was just um, carried away. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. I understand. Uh, and we have to celebrate this. Yes, you're too free. Right? We, sh we should. Yeah, we should. We should. You know, I have a good time. Go out somewhere. Yeah. And, um, where's Chica? I have a list. <laughs> to be Chica is somewhere, please. Should I call you? Uh, yes, because you should celebrate with us. Cynthia! <laughs> What do you think? What do I think about what is up here? About this. This beautiful diva right in front of you, you know? I know you must be having a nostalgic feeling by now. And if you must know, the only feeling I'm having right now is that of distraction. Listen, Francesca, I've got work to complete. I don't have time for your games. You know, you're not supposed to put work over family, right? No. Uh, that is a recipe for disaster. See all this. All what this. do I care, really? <clears throat> Wait, what is it with yourself, Andrew? I can't even remember the last time we're intimate in this house. What is it? Clearly, I've been busy with work, as you can see. So your job is more important than I am? Francesco, I've got a task to complete, okay? Please avoid me. <laughs> so what are you going to do now? I really don't know. But if I'm being honest, I am totally emotionally disconnected from Francesca. You're emotionally disconnected from a woman you, you, you're engaged to be married to? Oh, 
that's dangerous. That, that's, that's not healthy for any relationship. I wish you could just summon up the courage and tell her. You, you dread that girl. I wonder why. It's not like that. Then it's if I end things without there are a lot of consequences. Family ties will be cut. And it would be like unfair for you to leave her now because the whole world will criticize you for leaving a girl who stood by you while you were down. My point exactly. And trust me, she will not hesitate to pull the victim card. This is really bad. And and your mom should make life a living hell for you considering how fast she wants you to get married. <laughs> I can't even start to imagine how she would react if this happened. What about Omar? Does she know about Francisca? No. I really don't know how you're going to do this, but I'm very optimistic. You'll pull through. You sure will. Are you enjoying the food? Who made it? You've been home all day and you saw me cooking, so I don't understand your question. I also do not understand the question you're asking. It's not like it's the first time I'm eating something you made, so why are you asking me Andrew, the question? I was just asking a random question couples ask across the dinner table. Why are you being petty? <sighs> so, when are we commencing the marriage plans? Francisca, what is this? I should not ask. See, we had our introduction two years ago. And it's only fair we talk about this marriage plans now that you have a decent job. Okay, fine. We'll talk about it when the time is right. When? I don't know! Don't know! <laughs> Going. Where are you going? Wait, to. is that we cannot have a conversation without even quarreling in this house? Mrs. Bola said she will come for it later today, so I need you to pack it. Please. She will send her driver or she will come herself. Yeah. Babes, mm. what's up? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. No, this is not the Jessica I know. It seems another body has taken over. And what's the problem? Mm -hmm. Nothing. Now, uh, you and I know that's a big fat lie. You know, whatever the issue is, you can always talk to me. I'm worried about you. Me? Yes. I haven't been seeing Angie around the way I used to. <laughs> That's because he has a 9 to 5 now, and I'm sure you know that. I know, and that is not why I'm worried. I heard you telling him about you being together for a while, and you don't even know where he stays. <sighs> That's true. And why is that? This is a guy that breathes in and out of your house and salon at will. And you don't even know where he lives. What if Mr. Chairman is a ghost? Can you stop exaggerating things? I'm only trying to down tension on a very serious issue. But you really need to think about this. I guess you're right. Mm -hmm. I think I've been too soft with him on this matter. I definitely have to act more. You really need to. Just try to. Is that why you are acting like this? Such a big. I'm a big. You know I don't like it when you get hot. I haven't said that more. That, that is what I have been hearing. The two of you should have been probably married by now. 
and become a Kabu Kabu driver. No, mom, it's not Kabu Kabu. It's an healing service. But whatever it is, I don't care. And thank God that you are over that now. We are all happy for you that you have a good job and that is better than the one you lost. So what is stopping you now? I haven't been doing this job for one month and everybody's talking about me getting married. At least a court wedding to start with. Both of you have been engaged for too long and it's becoming embarrassing. I understand, ma. So when do you have plans for the court wedding? Mom, please, can we talk tomorrow? I'll okay. call you first thing in the morning. You better have a satisfactory answer for me. All right, ma. He's here, ma. Yes, ma. My mom wants to speak with you. So what are you going to tell mom when she goes? <laughs> that doesn't bother me. She hates a wedding she wants. Eh, she'll get one. Mama's birthday is in a couple of days. I plan to propose to her. Just like that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Bro, if you ask me, I, I really do think you should close a chapter before opening a new one. How you're going to do it, I do not know. But I think that's the best thing to do. Hmm? I intend to come clean with Oma. Tell her everything then. I'll handle the rest later. Hmm. That's a good start. Honestly. It's a good one. Um, it is better for her to hear it from you first. And not hear it from somewhere else. <laughs> nice one, man. That's a good one. And like I always say, Everything will be fine. Babe, I'm sorry. I've just been busy with work. Plus, plus, I've been planning something big for your birthday. I'm sure you are. I miss you. Yeah. How about the big man? Is he there with you? He has gone to bed. You can speak with him in the morning. Sure. I love you. Love you? My instincts were right about this man cheating. Andrew, if I can't have you, no one will. What kind of cause network is this? And I need to confirm this appointment tonight. This is it. I need to make an important call, but the network is killing me. Can I borrow your phone? Oma, she gave me this address. Hope I'm in the right place. Yes, you are. Come in. Thank you. She's in the bathroom. Okay, so what's your name? My name is Chiki and Miss Oma is my mom. Is she your mom? Yes. That's good to know. Thank you. Pictures of our introduction two years ago. And three days ago, we were just discussing our marriage plans. Andrew is a serial cheater. I just had to accept my fate because 
is the first and only man I've ever known. How can you know this and still be with such a man? What do I do? Certainly, I still love him. Oh my goodness. Oh no. I cursed the day I met him. He did not only deceive me, he deceived my little boy. My son who looks up to him as a father figure and a role model. He even calls him daddy. See, when it comes to cheating, he has no remorse. I just need you to know the kind of man you're going out with. See, I hurt you so badly and walk away like nothing happened. Thank you, Francisca. I admire your courage and the way you handled this. Some other person might start to violence. So thank you. It's not your fault. I know the man I'm engaged to. He's a professional when it comes to this. He's an expert at the game. I know. I just hope you're safe. <laughs> I'm fine. I am. <laughs> Take care of yourself. I do the sword. Could have sworn is the man for you. I wish we can perceive bad people and their intention the same way we perceive bad food. I thought I had seen it all with Alex. Little did I know that Andrew was preparing a very cold meal for me. And to think of the fact that I was already seeing you all as a family. And how's Chiki taking this? It has been quiet since he got the news. Jessica, I'm scared. I fear for that boy. That, that little boy has seen men come in and go out of my life so much. And I have to worry about him again. Listen, you need to be as private as possible about this. No one needs to know about this. I've always kept my affairs private. I don't just know how that nosy neighbor Regina gets to know about all these things. You know what? You just have to pretend as if nothing happened and move on. The right man will come at the right time. I don't care about any man. All I care about is my son. I've punished that boy so much already. I can watch him go through this again. I can't. Take okay, it, just calm down and understand. I can't. You'll be fine in a while. <laughs> Hello, who's home? Is anyone home? Hey, big man. understand that you're upset. I've been away for too long. I have work to deal with. Plus I have this major deadline to meet again. Yeah. Probably it's not going to happen again, Sam. Hmm? Don't you ever call him that again. What? Chica, go back to your room. Sweetheart. What are you doing here? 
Let's go. Happy birthday. And you get out of my house. Hey, what's going on? You wouldn't want me to raise my voice. Leave my house. Wait, this... This has to be a prank or something, right? You think this is a joke? No, you think I'm joking, right? You think I'm joking, you lying, cheating bastard! Wait, 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 slow down. What, what's with the name Colin? Andrew, you are evil. You know, I thought Alex was bad, but you! You are evil! At least I know you didn't lie to me about being engaged to be married to someone else. What are you talking about? Francisca. The name pretty much sums everything up, right? I don't need your explanation. I was going to just tell leave. You. Leave my house. Just get out. Get out of my house. Get out. Get out of my house. I don't want you. Get out. Get out of my house, you fool. Get out. the truth of what she's supposed to know. That's interesting. Okay, now, I will tell you the truth. You see this thing we have going on, whatever it is, the introduction we had, whatever you want to call it, it's over. I need you to pack your stuff and leave my house. <laughs> you're joking. Andrew, you're joking, right? By the time I get back, I want you gone. He, he can't be serious, right? He was joking. No. I have to call his mom and my... Oh, where is my phone? My father used to tell me when I was a lot younger that some things need to go through the breaking stage before you can fix them. I don't get it. Now that everything is open, there's a breaking stage. Now the fixing stage is going to be you figuring what you really want and going all out to make sure you achieve it. I get it now. You've just simplified it. I don't know what to do, to be honest. But, um, that girl, she's got some guts. I mean, why would she go to Oma's house? Come to think of it, where's she at the moment? Who? Francisca, of course. Oh, she's at my place. <laughs> I left her there. I told her I don't want to see her there by the time I get back. <laughs> And I bet you she'll just be in your house waiting for you to return. Oh, oh. I know that for sure. I'm banking on it. She's already started playing the victim card as well. Oh, this. you mean it? Well, I, I, I saw that coming after all. Mm -hmm. I knew she was going to do that. My mom called me. And she was talking and she started to, you know, go on and on about how she was there when I had nothing. <laughs> saying I'm very oh. ungrateful. Well, you won't blame the innocent woman. She only spoke based on what she knows. The thing is, I've never seen a woman that makes demands the way Francesca does. It's, it's crazy. She's, she's so inconsiderate. Look, police over the counter and at the junction, they're still learning. <laughs> wow. That can, that, 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 that can be really, really terrible. I can only imagine. Well, it's going to be tough. I can't lie to you. Mm -hmm. But I really suggest you just stand on your grounds. That's it. 
So good. Mama. <laughs> Welcome, Mama. How are you, my dear? I'm very well, Mama. Where's my son? He did not come back home. What's happening? You mean my son has started sleeping outside? And he has the right not telling you where he was going? I don't know. He told me to leave the house and he just left. Are you telling me things have gotten bad until you called me yesterday again? Mama, it's actually worse now. I think it's high time I put a stop to that madness in him. Mama, <laughs> before then, eh? let me take it to your room. It's actually nice seeing you. <laughs> hey, just go. What do you want? Um, I need to talk to you. I am not interested in whatever you have to say. Besides, I am not the one you should be talking to. I have tried calling Oma over and over again, but she's not taking my calls. Are you surprised? I know she's upset. She has every right to be mad at me. But she needs to hear my own side of the story. What side? Let me ask you. The pictures your fancy brought to the house, were they photoshopped? No. Did you propose to her? Yes, I did. Was there an introduction? Yes, th there was, but you well, need to... what, Andrew? What? See, go back to your fiancé, get married to her, and leave an innocent single mother alone. She has suffered a lot, and Chike is suffering too. How is Chike? I just told you to leave the family alone. Go back to your fiancé, Get married and have kids and play daddy. Well, he's trying to force himself to sleep. You know, I can deal with these heartbreaks when they happen. I can quietly move on and get over them. I can focus on work, but when my son gets emotionally involved, it becomes really difficult for me to deal with. I ran into him today. Or should I say, he ran into me? I don't care about that bastard.
He said he has been trying to talk to you, but you've not been taking your call. What does he have to say? What? Please, I just... Let him stay on his lane. Please. I think you should just try to hear him out. Did you just say that? Well, he admitted everything the girl said is true. But you but what, Jessica? What? You know, I just feel for the innocent girl who still feels the need to, to, to marry that bastard. Please. I don't want to hear anything about him again. Please. Hey, baby. Um, so, I'm thinking maybe you could go spend some time with your cousins on the mainland. No, mommy. Is that going to come? No, Chiki. And he's not your father. But you said I can call him daddy. Chiki, he is not your father. You know what? Why don't we forget about Uncle Andrew? And we could go to the cinema today. Is he coming? No. Then I am not coming. That was a quick nap. What is going on? Are we having a party here? What? Mommy. Why do we have so many food on this table? It's just breakfast. And it's not any different from what I prepared yesterday. Didn't I complain yesterday? Don't worry, mommy. You'll get used to it. Really? How much have you spent in preparing all this meal? Um, for starters, Andrew actually is trying because he knows I love good meal and coming to the price of all this, I think I spent about 15,000 naira or so. Really? Well, 15,000 naira is not much. Francisca, to be honest with you, how much have you contributed to all this meal in this house? I Me, mean, I did the cooking. Of course, I know you do the cooking. But a simple question. How much have you contributed financially in this meal? Francisca, we need to talk now. I honestly do not know if I should feel bad for him or be angry with him. He's a kid. And you know, they are more than they are to their feelings. And I am not? That is not what I am saying. You do not expect an 11 year old child to feel the same emotion you feel in this matter. Should I expect him to act differently? You know what baffles me? Is that Chike still refers to him as daddy? You see, that is what he sees him as. You can't blame the little boy. You see, we can both sit here and call him bastard, monster, the devil himself, but that is not for Chike. I've warned him. I've told him not to call him daddy. After all, he's not his father and he knows that. Mm. I beg. Allow the little boy to heal in his own time. Don't force it on him. But I'm not even helping matters. Oh. You want to compare yourself to a small child? No, mm, come on. I'm glad you can now see what I've been saying all along. I will blame you for all this, my son. How, Mom? You encourage it. Because anytime she feels that you say no, she, she felt that you're hurting her. No, Mom, we've always been like that. I didn't see it as a big deal. Now it is. 
I can't blame her. You created a monster, and now the monster is after you. I understand. Sadly, I don't know how to solve this problem. With the way Francisca is going, huh, she's going to wreck you. I have to take a quick action. Huh? Francesca is in my past. I really don't care about her anymore. What I need to do is mend things with Alma. I don't know what is wrong with this generation. We have not finished one chapter. Now you're opening another chapter. Mom. No, I don't want to hear anything about that girl, Alma until Francisca's situation has been solved. Understood? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Come in, the door is open. Leave. Just give me a minute to explain myself. Okay? You don't want to go. You do not want to leave peacefully, right? Stay. No, stay here. I'm coming. Give me a minute. Stay here. Wait for me. Hey. You want to stay, right? No, stay. I said stay, stay, stay. I'm not stubborn with this life. It's yours. I ran out of that place as fast as I could. Oh, girl. The same Oma who would do anything or go to any length to have you by her side? Ah, oh, this is hard to believe, man. I, I, I was really shocked. I never expected that she would you know, do something like that. Uh-uh. You would have expected it. Come on, man. Don't expect such a thing. I'm even finding it hard to believe myself. And considering how fast Momsi expects you to get married, and adding this up, I mean, your relationship with Omar is not heading, is, is not doing well. I would suggest you just settle for the idea of getting married to Jessica. You are. No, no, no. I take that back. You're definitely a. Come on, man. I've not even tested my juke. I am not going to settle for Francesca. I'll mm. be the last thing I will do. No. And you feel. The whole hate and love energy from all corners would make things better. Like, you think it's the way out? I'm not, I'm not comfortable with this anymore. You know? I'm, I'm, I'm not just happy. And, and look at you. You're down. You're down and it affects me as your friend. I'm just worried about Chiki. Chiki. I hope he's doing well. And I hope he's coping with his math. She came. I understand, man. I understand your relationship with the boy GK. But then, you really have to be optimistic about this, okay? Very soon, I'm very sure everything will be fine. Alright? Oh, come on. Kill this look on your face. You're tensing up the whole atmosphere. Yeah. this girl Francisca your phone is ringing and she's nowhere to be found
If you can't get the money yourself, then find a way to pin it on Andrew. It should not be that difficult, so I need you to stop calling my number. Mama, please. Mama, please don't let Andrew send me away. Please, Mama. Mama, please. Your daughter, Mama, please. Mama, Mama please say something. Andrew, 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 I'm sorry. It was just a one-time mistake. Look, Francesca, I do not care if it happened over a hundred times. I just need you to leave my house, okay? Mama, Mama, please help me beg him. I made a terrible mistake because he abandoned me. It wasn't intentional. I swear, it wasn't intentional. Stop that, your crocodile tears. What are you trying to insinuate? Did that man out there rape you? No. He taught you into doing it, and you agreed? I'm asking you a question. Yes. And you are saying it was not intentional? Are you trying to force another man's child on my son? Oh, that is not even possible. It's not because we've not been intimate for for, for long. True. A long, long while. True. That's not possible. Mama, please. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Leave this house now quietly. Before I ask him to bundle you out. Andrew, I'm sorry. I am sorry too. Yes, but you have to leave my house. Andrew, please. You have to leave. Mama. Mama. I'm so sorry for bringing you up. Really, I'm sorry. But I just, I just needed to talk to you. It will be come as if she knows I'm meeting you. I know, and I am super grateful to you for agreeing to do this. How is she doing? How is Chiki? I miss both of them. I hate to tell you this, but Chiki has been the most affected. Since all of this happened, the boy cries every day. Oh, I'm so sorry. And you, Andrew? You were engaged to be married and you want your way into the heart of a single mom and a child. That is so evil and insensitive. No, it's not like that. Yes, I was engaged, but there was no way I was going to marry Francesca. I was just too scared to do the right thing. And what is that supposed to mean? You see, my family and Francesca's the we have close ties, long before both of us were born. And when everyone found out we were dating, it became very difficult for us to break up. What? You two have broken up? Yeah. Apparently, my mom was the only one who found out that she got pregnant for someone else. <sighs> so, what are you going to do now? I need my family back. Your family? Look, Jessica. I love Oma. I love her so much. And I love that boy, Chiki. I do. And I'm ready to do anything to prove it. Yes, I made a mistake. A grave one, not telling her about Francesca. But it would be an even bigger mistake not to be part of that family. I don't know what to say. At least let me see Chiki.
You need to be very fast about this. I wouldn't want Oma to meet you here. Sure, sure, sure. Let me um, get the chicken. Right. Thank you. Hey, boy! <laughs> How you doing, son? Fine. I've missed you. I miss you too. Are you back? Um, very soon, okay? Very soon. So, you and mommy are not back together? We will be soon, okay? This is for you. Like it? I love it. It's nice. Thank you, Daddy. decided to do now? I need to have a conversation with her. One on one. Um, I need her to understand that she's not the only one affected by this. You don't blame her for shutting you out. You are not honest with her. Mom, everything happened so fast. Here you go again. Excuses. You had all the time in this world to tell her the truth. I guess you're right. I know I am right. Your case is that of a man chasing two rats at the same time. And ends up catching on. Get it. Well, look, Mom, I really have to talk to her. And I will talk to her. I don't care what it takes. I don't care if she pulls a gun on me. That's OK. Okay, okay, okay. Time to go to bed. Enough for the games. Mm -hmm. What's this? It's a gift. A gift? From who? From uh, that daddy. When did he give you this? Today. You're not making any sense, Chiki. He was here. What? Andrew was in my house? Jessica let Andrew into my house! Now this is the height of it! Mommy. No, don't you dare! You stay out of this this minute, okay? And I'm throwing this rubbish away. Jessica, Jessica, you went overboard this time. I was expecting you to go. We need to talk. No, we don't have to talk. It is important to talk, and I am bringing out your meat. You wouldn't dare. Kill us if you have to. I will see you soon. Jessica, don't push me. I'm begging you, do not push me. Good night, bestie. Jessica! Hello? I just hope for the sake of everybody, she's just blabbing. And you, let this be the first and the last time you will collect any gift from Andrew. I will make myself clear. Yes, ma'am. And go to bed. Take this one. I wouldn't. 
intentionally deceive me, Mama. I love you way too much to do that to you. So what do you call what you did to me? I was scared. It wasn't easy to tell you that I had a fiancé. For any chance of us having a relationship at all. If you had mentioned it to me at the lounge, it wouldn't be here. And I'm glad I didn't. Yes, I'm, I'm glad I did. Because we wouldn't have had this relationship. So, you hid it from me and deceived me into falling in love with you? Oh. We were both in love. How was I supposed to tell the woman that I loved that I was engaged to another woman I didn't love? And thereby ruining the possibility of a great relationship. A great relationship that you eventually ruined. I'll do anything to make this work again. I like Homer and her son Chiki, and I'm so glad that both of you are together. Um, I'm glad that you like her mom. I'm really happy. Who wouldn't? <laughs> Obviously, she's going to be a fantastic wife. I know she's a mom. I'm, I'm glad you think so. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome, my dear. I will see you in the morning. Good night. Good night, mom. life, many will hold your hand and be there for you in countless ways, but um, none will hold your heart the way I will. Okay, so much. Um, please be my wife.
Yes. <laughs> yes, I will be your wife. <laughs> oh my god. I love you so much. Congratulations, both of you. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> come see my ring, baby. Come, 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 come. Big man. <laughs> okay. And now it is time to fish. There is a lot to celebrate. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> 